So it is the first day of February and the first day of Black History Month. It actually started as just a week, really. At first, North Carolina was one of only three states that participated the first year. That week then turned into a month during the Civil Rights Movement in the 1960s. And then in 1976, President Gerald Ford officially designated February as Black History Month. It is a month to honor the struggles, the sacrifices, achievements, and the history of African Americans who have helped shape our country and city. Here are five pioneers who paved the way for Charlotte. One, Dorothy Count Scoggins. On September 4th, 1957, she was one of four black students who integrated Charlotte's public schools. She faced a crowd of hecklers as she walked into what was then Harding High. Earlier this month, she returned to those steps when a portrait honoring her now sits. It made me realize that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, and that is to be an advocate and a voice for those that don't have a voice. Count Scoggin says she will continue to fight for the next generation as long as she can. Number two, Teresa Clark Elder. In 1962, she became Mecklenburg County's first African-American public health nurse. Sometimes that meant going into communities where she wasn't welcomed. She was often insulted and belittled, but she persevered because the work was so important to her. Number three, Julius Chambers. In 1964, he opened the first integrated law firm in Charlotte. His firm is credited with winning landmark state and federal school desegregation cases. If his name sounds familiar, it should. CMS recently renamed a local high school in his honor. There's also a statue honoring the civil rights leader along King's Drive on the Little Sugar Creek Greenway. Number four, Harvey Boyd. He designed something we see all over our area. In 1964, he created the Mecklenburg County Seal. Boyd worked for the Charlotte Observer at the time. He submitted his design and won, beating out many others. Five, Harvey Gant. In 1983, he became Charlotte's first African-American mayor. This wasn't his first time breaking barriers, though. 20 years prior, he was the first African-American student admitted to Clemson. The city of Charlotte renamed the Afro-American Culture Center for Gant in 2009, cementing his place in Queen City history. And we can't forget our current mayor, Vi Lyles, also breaking barriers. And actually, in 2017, um, she became the first black female mayor in Charlotte. So there's not a lot of people, you know, setting that bar. Yeah, it was a great look, too. So right. we appreciate knowing all the names and, yeah. and seeing the faces. And we can celebrate this month. Yes, and in so many cases, we find that we never hear some names. Sure. So that's so important to highlight them. It's true.